Yo, what's up everyone? My name is Andrew Warren and holy talk about a good market day. As you can see down below in the CNBC article, it says that today was the best stock market day since 1933, which when you really think about that, we're experiencing history right now. We're experiencing a historical growth day in the stock market. And although we are still recovering from a recent crash or whatever you want to call it, recession, we are still in a bear market. So this does have a lot of significance. And this is exactly what people talk about when they say you don't want to time the market because when you time the market, you miss out on that initial rebound where there's just a ton of growth and it happens very fast after a crash. Now, only time will tell whether this is going to be a permanent thing and whether we actually hit the bottom. I feel like there's a lot of people out there that don't believe that we hit the bottom, and I'm certainly entertaining that thought as well because it just feels so weird that today was such a great market day when we're really just getting into the meat of the Rona situation, and it's just going to get much, much worse from here on out until a little bit later in the future, in my opinion. But with that, I just thought that was interesting and wanted to share it with you all. And I also wanted to show you my portfolio just a little bit. Some of the moves that I'm making currently, and a lot of that does involve Microsoft. But before we jump into that, I'll go ahead and show you my gains for today. I gained 4900 today, which was 9.79%. And then another $193 in after hours, which is 35%. And to show you the breakdown individually, first off, we'll start off with VOO. I have a $34,000 cost basis, and today I earned $2,400 in VOO about it. I'm currently still down a lot with VOO, so it's just going to take a lot of time for that to recover, but it will happen in my opinion, so I'm not really worried about that. And then next up, we have my preferred stock of the day. This has been my preferred stock for about the past 30 days. But as you can see, we gained 8.37% in Microsoft, $1,100. And we're only currently down 6.71%, which is $1,000. So that's actually not too bad. Next up, we have Apple. And my cost basis is $12,000. I gained $919. And I'm currently down $1,600. Once again, that's not too bad when you compare it to VOO and some of those other unfortunate stocks out there. And then finally, we have Tesla, which is probably the stock that I've lost the most in percentage-wise. And as you can see, my cost is currently $6,500, and we're down 36%. But today, we got some decent gains, $670. But back on to the main topic of this video, we're going to be talking about my moves in Microsoft today. And as you can see, it went up 9% just today. And I will admit I was a little disappointed when I woke up this morning just because I was hoping that it would get towards that lower $130 range for the share price. And if I could at least get it down to $133, I would have purchased a bunch more. But just a few minutes ago, once the end of the day came into play, I realized that Microsoft just kept on increasing. And I thought, okay, I'm not going to make the same mistake I did yesterday and wait for a lower market day like I did with Microsoft when it was at $135. Technically, yesterday I could have bought these shares for a cheaper price, but I decided to wait until today to see if I could get it even lower. But as you can see, it just ended up increasing. So I didn't want to make that same mistake again and that goes back to the statement of you not wanting to time the market so what i did was i made another purchase for 1039 dollars for seven shares at a price of 148 dollars and 45 cents and although I definitely didn't want to pay $148, if you really think about this in long term, I'm still technically buying the dip, so it's not really that bad of an idea. I'm still buying at a price that I couldn't have got unless I bought it way back in November, as you can see. And this is just an example of how timing the market can make you miss out on potential profits by waiting for it to go lower. But I also just decided to accept that and buy it at the $148 price range. And regardless of what happens in the future, I'm going to be happy with that purchase just because technically at this point, I can never tell where it's going to go. So I might as well just buy it when it's still on sale. But that was my logic with the whole situation. I just wanted to update you all on my purchases. I usually try to do that because it's always been very interesting for me to see what other people are purchasing. So I figured that some of you guys would be interested in that as well, at least with my portfolio. 
But I'm definitely very excited about this $5,000 gain today. I think it was up $4,000 earlier, and as you can see, it's up another thousand. So that's really, really nice. I'm excited about that. But I'm also very careful in terms of accepting the fact that it can eventually go down even more than what it was. So it could go down 15% tomorrow instead of how it went up 10% today. So it's just important that you have to accept that fact that it is possible. But anyways, I just wanted to share this quick little video for you all. This video is not intended to be any sort of financial advice. I simply just wanted to share my thoughts and opinions and also share the plays that I'm making in the market currently. But I hope you all enjoyed. And if you did, please be sure to smash that like button. It really does help me out more than you realize and it only takes a few seconds. But thank you all so much for watching and I hope you have a fantastic rest of your week.